Assalamu alaikum. My name is Hamza Abdurrahman. I'm an 18 year old contestant and also a volunteer for this competition. I encourage everyone to join events like these in the future. My, my heart felt relieved that he was very calming. So I read the Quran. Uh, I like to enter Quran competitions. I've learned three jewels of the Quran. I was also encouraged others to read uh, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would reward them. Last weekend, we had young boys and girls, some the age of five, who had just been given their first Qur'an. Young boys and girls who had just taken sabaq on Qur'an. They came here to recite. Children who never been near a Qur'an competition, all excited, clutching their Qur'ans, they came to read from Birmingham and beyond. And that's why I say everybody who came last week is a winner. If I look back at the 90s and the early 2000s when we were growing up, and the kind of access we had to teachers and Quran and things like that. We were very limited in our resources. That's why you saw that the majority of our youngsters, when they recited in that time, they would all either read like Sheikh Sudais or Sheikh Shuraim, Sheikh Abu Bakr Shatri, these few limited, you know, prominent reciters that we had access to. And that was it. But if you look now, as time has progressed, as we have, uh, you know, grown more and more, you know, access to different recitations, different styles, We've had access to, you know, Middle Eastern teachers coming to the UK. You know, they're, they're all available now, easily available. Look what we had here today, the amazing performances that we had. You can't differentiate from listening to this recitation, their background. Are they Asian? Are they Egyptian? Are they Syrian? Are they, you know, where they're from, we don't know. And yet they've come and they're reciting in such precision and such amazing way.